the plate, we've seen him do damage on a lot of different pitches. Yeah. All right, so tell us what his biggest strength is. Wow, Trent, as good of a pitcher as he is, man, I'm going to break you down a little bit on the hitting side of things nice. right now. And as you can see right here, this isn't a bat against the Oakland A's early in the season. Otani is a very selective hitter, man. Only swinging at 35% of pitches outside of the zone. That means he's swinging at 35 or 65% in the zone. As you can see, he's tracked both balls right to the plate. He knows exactly what he wants to do when he gets to the plate. And once he gets that pitch, he's not missing it. At six foot four, 205, 210 pounds, when he can get full extension, he can hit the ball into the stratosphere, which is exactly what he did right here. If he continues to keep this up, man, he's going to have a tremendous season. The reason why he is having as much success as he is now is he's not swinging at these pitches up here. And Trey, you know, with the guys throwing these 100 miles an right. hour the way they are right now, you have to make your money in the lower part of the plate. I know he's hitting 333 right here, but that's only one hit and three at bats. Right. So I think for him right now, if he can stay lower in the zone right now, like we talked about earlier in the season, man. You remember when he had that big leg kick? Yeah. We saw his numbers in spring. A lot training. of movement. He has made that adjustment to getting that front foot down, keeping his head as steady as possible. Oh, yeah. And young kids at home, if you want to hit and you want to be successful, keep this still. Because if this is not still, it's going to make that baseball look like a whole lot more. Trey, this guy's dominating on every aspect of the game. How do you get this guy out? Well, as a lefty, I would want to attack him and establish the ball in and make him uncomfortable. But that seems to be his power zone. So for me, I would like to throw a sinker to follow his belt line so he can respect more it here. more in. It's to show him to try to move him off the plate and make him think about this element and then try to go down and away with the slider. And 286 is not bad. <laughs> not Don't get bad. that twisted at all. That's not bad. But then try to rush him upstairs. When I think about bigger guys, I think about Jim Tomes, you know, guys like that. Richie they want to get Richie Sexton. They want to get their arms extended. They want to show their power. So this is a danger alley. I better right. miss down. And that's why when you see the catchers, they throw their signs down and they tap that glove on the ground. Yeah. Don't miss up because that's when he's able to extend his power and drive the ball out of the ballpark. This guy's only had like, what, 61 at 61 bats? 61 at bats. But it's amazing. You talk about rushing him in, right? And we see that number 385. Like, mm -hmm. We saw Luis Severino go right here and that ball went about 450 And I don't feet. got his stuff. Right? I don't got <laughs> <laughs> stuff. I got D minus Severino stuff right there. So that's what I mean about the sinker and some type of movement that will follow his body line. But again, sometimes we say as pitchers, you got to pay the piper and you got to go in there for a strike. So he honors that pitch. He's been but good. It'd be fun. He's I might get him once in a while. I hey, might listen, get him once. I have faith you'll get him. <laughs> I, I know you. Get that whooper duper yeah, in on him. Exactly. Uh, you know, listen, we like to analyze our players, but we also sometimes like to ask the players uh, to analyze our analysts or at least ask him a question. D train, we have <laughs> oh, one for I you. Can't oh, wait. boy. I can't wait. Get it. Oh, boy. I got plenty of questions for Don. Trail, but D train, I need to know where this leg kick came from as a pitching on your pitching motion because you had me in high school trying to pitch just like you and my legs flying all over the place and I got coaches yelling at me all over the place. So I really want to know where you came up with it, how it started, and what made you go to it. I love it. I love that. I mean, he, he wanted to beat you, bro. Hey, hey, up. Sons oh, of Train. Yeah. He's a Florida boy. I call him Sons of Train. <laughs> um, got a chance to play strikeout in Alameda, California, and we just, you know, we played it every single day in the summer. You know, I spray painted a strike zone on my wall. Got the worst whooping ever. <laughs> but again, I, after a while, I started to grow. Yeah, as you can see in my pants, you know, my, my backside's on my back. <laughs> so I just started kicking my leg up higher and higher, and guys were like, that's cool. So as I, hey, I started can, to play. You, can we get a little, can we get uh, a little? Demo real quick, real demo that, yeah. real fast. I, I gotta, I gotta pay double for, for I, I gotta pay double for my pants. I gotta pay, <laughs> I gotta pay double <laughs> for my. Uh, yeah. Detroit. I'm on a 60 day, but it just became a part of me, man. And as, as more gangly I got, I got bigger, and I just got used to pitching like that, man. It was fun, and you know I had a good time doing it. The man. fact that there's a major leaguer in the major leagues right now that wanted to be you growing up, bro, it's got to be an honor. Uh, it, it truly is, and I, I really appreciate it. And I got a chance to meet him, and that was the first thing out of his mouth, and I'm just honored. And, and that's the reason why we play the game really at heart. Right, so brother. it's yes, been sir. a blessing. We're real proud of you. And send some of the checks over there, Haas. Send a couple <laughs> chains. You making that money over there? I'm so proud of you, boy. Uh, uh, Haas, if you could send him a massage therapist for later, because we'll have to get the hamstring on that one. I was hurt myself. Pipe.